Welcome to Search Engine World. I'm Vanessa Zamora here with today's search update. On Monday, Google announced the launch of its YouTube video identification beta program. It is the latest effort to minimize YouTube copyright infringement by putting more control in the hands of copyright owners. This is the next proactive step taken by Google to provide copyright owners with tools to more easily identify their content and manage how it is made available on YouTube. With the new system, content owners are able to block, promote, or license their material to appear on the YouTube site to monetize videos. In implementing this technology, Google states they are committed to supporting new forms of original creativity, protecting fair use, and providing a seamless user experience, all while helping rights owners easily manage their content. In the latest reorganization effort, as part of a plan set out by AOL's chief executive Randy Falco, the company announced Monday that it would eliminate 2,000 of its 10,000 jobs. Most of the new job cuts will come in the form of 1,200 layoffs in the United States. The majority of the remaining cuts will be in Europe and India. However, further layoffs in the United States are expected to be announced later. The plan also includes moving away from the internet access business and shifting the focus to advertising in order to make the company better able to compete with Google and Yahoo. Further major changes in the announcement include moving the company headquarters to New York and an internal reworking of company processes. AOL, the once dominant internet firm that has been losing ground in recent years, was forced to change its model last year as it lost consumers who went elsewhere for internet access and services. As part of updates to its Live Search product, Microsoft has added its own 411 directory assistance phone service for finding local business information similar to Google's Goog 411. By dialing 1 800 Live 411, people can not only find free local business information, but those with internet capable mobile phones can download Live Search Mobile to get access to business listings and traffic maps that are powered by a revamped product that provides directions based on real time traffic information. Microsoft, the world's largest software maker, aims to make changes such as that announced today in an attempt to increase revenue from mobile phone advertisements. With the growth of video content online, the video advertising market has also seen a boost in interest. Investors are putting money into new companies and existing companies are ramping up video advertising techniques. Yumi, a Silicon Valley-based company, is the latest and has raised $9 million in funding for its video-centric ad network. Yumi's technology, which works across multiple platforms, can serve ads in downloaded video and in video stream both from websites and to mobile phones. Last month, ad network VideoEgg raised $15 million Blinks lets anyone with embedded videos on their blogs place contextually relevant text ads directly outside or even inside the video in order to make advertising revenue. There's also adapt.tv and of course Google who recently announced video units enabling publishers to incorporate video with relevant text ads for revenue generation. According to a report by eMarketer released July 16th, video ad sales are expected to grow from an estimated 775 million this year to 3.1 billion in, ten, in 2010. Discovery Communications is making moves into the online search business with its recent purchase of HowStuffWorks for $250 million. HowStuffWorks is an online information source offering explanations on how the world actually works. Discovery hopes to gear up its search presence and advertising opportunities by focusing on incorporation of its thousands of hours of video content throughout the HowStuffWorks website. With 70% of the articles on HowStuffWorks appearing on the first page of Google's search results, Discovery has now gained new outlets for its content and a way to drive more visitors to their site while incorporating more targeted advertisement. I'm Vanessa Zamora coming to you live from Search Engine World. Thank you for joining us.